time to raise our hands to heaven and hoist up the highest truth of love. That love is not even love unless it is given away, and love is not love if it's selfish love. Uh, if there are any conditions whatsoever, any strings attached, then divine love instantaneously goes away. That is the gross darkness that has covered all mankind, Isaiah 60. That is the gross darkness, the veil that has been covering all people of all nations, according to Isaiah 25, that shall now be removed at the latter day mountain where 10,000 ignored videos are waiting for people that want to know. God's people have always been destroyed for lack of knowledge, and now people have an opportunity to learn some of the secrets of the Word of God. When Abraham lifted the knife over his son Isaac, within that moment it committed Emmanuel into coming into the world. For if our Lord God Almighty did not do the same thing that he asked of Abraham to do, to sacrifice his son, if our Father of Lights did not allow that for himself, then Abraham's love and compassion and obedience unto God would be greater than God. God would not make a, um, a being, a created being, to have a greater level of love than he. And so that was the Lismus test, so to speak. And so now in this time, anything that is contrary to the kingdom age new covenant of jeremiah 31 is all obsolete as hebrews 8 clearly foretells for our lord god is saying i am your god you are my people i have forgotten forgiven your iniquity and tossed it into the sea of my forgetfulness the sapphire crystalline sea and he says and i'll write my law and my love upon your hearts and no more shall anyone know me, for uh, no more shall anyone need to be taught of me, rather, says the Lord. For all shall know me, from the least to the greatest of Israel and all mankind. Jeremiah 32, 27, where it has always declared, I am the Lord God of all people, not just the few, not just the Christians. There is, uh, If that were true, I would be a respecter of men. And having favoritism, my word would be a lie, says the Lord God. And so Christianity is now pulled down, and so is the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus, uh, every knee and tongue shall not bow down to the name of Jesus. They shall bow down to his secret name of Mark 4. His secret name was written by Paul, uh, no, uh, John the Beloved in 1 John 4, 7 that those who love are born of God and know him because God is love, capital L. He named Christ love. And that is the name to which all knees and all uh, uh, people shall confess and bow down to on their knee. Because the truth is Jesus was just a distortional name of a false Jesus, uh, a Jesus who had condemnation, unmerciful, uh, a, a Lord that would burn people forever and ever and ever. There is an outer darkness. We'll be cast uh, there if we let our hearts go totally loveless. Uh, that is the unforgivable uh, sin because uh, there is no good man, not even one Romans 3.10. We have forgotten that. We think our religion makes us good and we deceive ourselves. And so realize that uh, the only good thing about any of us is love living in us as long as we don't let that light go out. And if we do that unforgivable act of letting his light go out, uh, we have no future because he is our living light of love. And we are created as beings of love. And so in these days, uh, no more shall people have to be looking at uh, the true Lord. Isa Yeshua, Jesus Christ, is the true Lord, but he's never been condemning like people have imagined. This was part of the mystery of Revelation 10, 7, and the secret of Mark 4 that has been now uh, unveiled. And so no more will uh, people of the Lamb worship him in vain, having false understandings. Uh, once they believe the truth, they'll love him even more knowing that he loved them with an undying love long before they ever praised him. 
And so uh, these are the days of Elijah, days for unbelievers of uh, love's power, uh, days for them to draw water from a mirage of a false god with conditional love when even a dog, even a little doggy has unconditional love. You cannot tell me that that little doggy has greater love than God. And I know I love my kids unconditionally. They could kill someone, I would still love them. And I would not want to see, no matter what they did, I would not want to see them burn. Am I greater than God? Do I have a greater mercy than He? Think about it. So in these days, it's time to, to raise up our ears because, because of the prophesied truth of He who is the steadfast and the truthful Lord. He has now come forth by His word, His message, of Malachi 3 1 to prepare his way in order to wipe away all remnants of utter nonsense so that people can finally shine as the stars uh, as uh, Daniel 12 predicted for these latter days the days of Elijah the days of restorations uh, revelation of revelation and uh, know that Jesus clearly says in Matthew 17 11 that the Elijah, the latter-day Daniel of Daniel 12, 13, who has embraced that destiny, says so, uh, that I have come with revelation of revelation. So know ye not that this, that the life of this world, uh, this terrible world that it is, uh, no, I better read that whole sentence over. That's what happens when you don't, don't wear your glasses, you know. Now I lost my place. Know ye therefore that whoever obeys the messenger of this latter day message of God's overflowing love, if you're listening to me, you'll be obeying he that is the absolute, the holy, and the alive. He alone is the blessed, the beloved, and the adored. He is our majesty of majesty, shining in the splendor of his magnificence as he inserts the sickle of Revelation 14 into the earth for the harvest of his love. So it's time to take a stand against ignorance, for there has never been any darker ignorance than the ignorance of love alone. And so in this hour, it's time to receive love's greatest power. But understand, O lovers of the Virgin Mary, uh, Catholics and Protestants, uh, listen, all people of Muhammad. Uh, the very last verse of the very last chapter of Daniel, Daniel 12, it, it strongly stresses uh, that the prophetic spirit of Daniel would rise again at the time of the end so that there could be revelation of revelation so all things could be restored. Without revelation of revelation, how could anything have restoration? Think about it. Therefore, the latter-day Daniel, says the Spirit, who is covered thereby, he is but a messenger of Allah unto the uh, Islamics. I am a message uh, of uh, love from Jesus to the Christians and uh, unto the Jews, Yeshua's word of love. And so uh, the likes of whom uh, has passed away long before, before me, uh, because now in the Spirit, all religion tumbled in this century uh, by God's prophetic word that would manifest in the latter days. And so just as Christ was slain before the foundation of the earth, uh, it was uh, fated that only the religion of unconditional love would only be the only one standing in the latter days. And so it's time to get with that program, to salute love as an, our new flag. So let the just souls of earth finally come to see that our Lord of the universe has never raised a prophet, nor has he ever sent down a book divine, unless he has first established his covenant with all men through his prophets. Uh, so it is time for the covenant of his greatest glory that causes the obsolescence of all religion, as the last sentence of Hebrews 8 declares. And since the Lord God has prophesied in the, his word, uh, written in the book of Habakkuk, written plainly so people who readeth it and hear it read might run. Written plainly, the writer would come, Isaiah 28, line by line, precept by precept, the strong and mighty one would come forth as a destroying storm, even a hailstorm to tear down. Jeremiah 110, 
exactly as Haggai 2.2 says. For God has to tear down all the distortionality so we no longer looking through a glass darkly anymore. And so in this hour, people should now accept this last revelation of past revelations if any obedience or common sense is left anywhere within the circle of earth. But insofar as this inspirited uh, word of love, uh, unconditional, has been, let every soul with a mind to think now believe God's word so that they can see with their own eyes that the written outpourings of his endless bounty uh, in the book of Joel 2 and Acts 2, him pouring out his love over all flesh, absolutely all, because Jesus is now arisen as the good shepherd over all the flocks of man. And so in this hour, uh, people can uh, see his love has always been ceaseless, without limits. It's been an unstoppable force here upon earth. So it's time for much wickedness to flee. And thank God that the sea of forgetfulness of the Lord's forgiveness uh, is covering the worst of our worst. So hearken now, O oh followers of that glorious Lord of honesty, for as his unashamed living truth now arises over the circle of earth, all of the curses of any uh, former satanic utterances must now vanish back to hell to keep Satan company as, uh, uh, as uh, Daniel 12.1 uh, foretold, for his removal has drawn nigh. Uh, and for this reason, the Lord God, he is the glorious and he is the resplendent one who allows not darkness to prosper around him. So it's time to stand still and see the salvation of knowledge of glory. And let all disobedience damning this word of the ages now quickly stop being vipers so that they can come to see the most blinding light of the Lord God's very best end time promise. Don't you know he's, the Lord always has saved the best for last? And know that this very book this very word that I am reading here, line by line, precept by precept, uh, it, it uh, was long ago hidden within the blackest clouds of disbelief. I've written 200 books that next to nobody read, and I've got 10,000 videos that next to nobody watches, because none of them believe the word of God. But now have the brightest rays of his beaming sun of holiness finally risen high as a faithfully promised rainbow of kingdom age peace. And time shall prove undoubtedly that such an elusive kind of peace that will come not by power nor by uh, might but by the spirit of love shall happen one heart at a time. And that will usher in the unforeseen days of um, brotherly love between Christians, Muslims, and their Jewish brothers and sisters, and it will ha happen naturally as well in the supernatural. So the harvest of peace has come. Therefore, it's finally the long-awaited season to be excited because the most blessed, passionate period has finally unveiled, just as uh, Isaiah 25 foretold. He's removing the veil now off all nations. And so let this everlasting gospel of uh, Revelation 14 go again to all people, to all tribes, to all nations, as uh, it is written in Revelation 14. And so it's time that uh, by the Lord's word of truth, we can now discard all garments of falsehoods that have been cluttering up our closets of our messed up minds, making us be mixing our uh, words in a, such a way that we're always wicked about words. It's like we've been spiritually schizophrenic because we haven't been seen so clearly through that glass darkly. And know that such desolate former robes of many damnable lies have been put upon faithless believers by themselves uh, as they unknowingly disbelieved prophecy and as they became some de deceived servants of earth's uh, thickest gross darkness which is called Christianity and the condemnation hellish that they have brought us and it shall be made very clear now that the Lord is saying to all people of love that he will never remember their sin that is the word of God that supersedes all others be out in a bit and uh, one thing is for sure uh, the Lord is now making it very clear that uh, victims of such deceptions need 
uh, have let themselves be swept up with insane hopes that no further inspirations from above could ever possibly come forth from another prophet. People believe that shit, even though uh, Elijah was foretold the latter day Daniel who has embraced that destiny, Daniel 12, 13, even though it is foretold that I would restore all things. How could you restore all things without any revelation, people? Come on. Um, and realize that such religious souls like Rand the Beast, they hold hatred over any new prophet edifying, God-fearing, loving members of mankind. And it's never made any difference what we believe. Many are going to say, Lord, I believed, I did this, I did And he's going to say, that didn't matter. It was you let your love go out. And so it's time to extol up all the Lord's names of love uh, that voice his love for him. And I know this, that I am Daniel F. Owsley, the Lord's end time apostle unto Islam and to the Jews and to all false religions, which all the world's religions are false if they are not loving. Uh, and if they think that by believing what they do, that makes God a respecter of them, likes them a little bit more. That's always been total bullshit because that God is a false God. That God is now in uh, hell for uh, 1,000 years according to the word of God. And I am the alcoholic that was prophesied, people. And it was prophesied that he who had eyes red and dull of wine would hold the staff of all kingdom age authority. Yea, even though I've been transgressed by wine, Habakkuk 2, the just shall live by my faith, says the King James in the Jewish Bible. That prophecy was expunged from the Bible, uh, made into just a proverb in most translations. Anyways, the bottom line, read Zechariah 3, and I was standing there before the Lord when he picked me full of my own barf. That's the guy that he picked.